Hey there, I'm Tanya Penny, your stress therapy and mindset coach. So today I want to talk about fear again. So I've been going through a lot of fear again lately, a lot of self-doubt as well, and I think they kind of go hand in hand a lot of times. So I'm doing something kind of big in my business, and you guys will hear about it soon. I'm launching a pretty big virtual program, and um, I'm having just a lot of like, oh my God, I'm not capable of doing this. Or, oh my God, how is this going to happen? How am I going to be able to do it all? Or get this all of these pieces together and get it done? So I'm having a lot of like this, this voice in my head, voice in my shoulder, that is saying like, you're not capable. There's no way you're going to be able to do this all. How are you going to be able to do it? And, you know, whether it be that, uh, you know, virtual program, whether it be taking any big step, whether it's in your business or in your personal life, doing something new, pushing yourself outside of the box, whatever that might be for you. The thing that I found today that would help me through that, the past few days actually, is number one, to write down what it is that I'm afraid of doing. So actually like acknowledge it. So a lot of times we cannot even be aware that we're going through it, right? And we're wondering why we're not taking action or why we're frozen or in procrastination. And the truth is it's usually fear and self-doubt. So acknowledge it, say, I'm afraid or I'm doubting or you know whatever that is and actually write it down. I'm afraid, so for me, I'm afraid I won't be able to do it all. I w I'm afraid that I won't be able to get it all done. I'm afraid that, you know, I won't have time to get all the pieces together. So whatever it might be for you, write down what the fear or the doubt is. Okay? That's step one. Step two is to write down really the opposite. So for me, it was just as simple as I am capable. I trust I am capable of doing X. I trust that it will get done. I trust that I am capable and that I'm supported. I'll be shown whatever I need to do. So whatever that opposite kind of thought or belief that's more positive is, I want you to write that down next. And then lastly, I want you to write down one small little step that you're going to take to move you in the direction of whatever that thing is that you've been afraid to do. So I'm also <laughs> getting ready to move again. So of course there's a lot of fear and doubt about that. What if I'm making the wrong decision? Blah, right? So you know the small action step is um, you know okay I'm going to move forward. I have to find a place to live. I have to rent out the place that I'm staying in. So you, you get the idea. Um, it's going to be different for whatever it is that you're afraid to do or whatever you're doubting yourself in doing. But just write down one small action step you're going to take, moving you in the direction of doing it, and then the date that you're going to do it by. And another thing I highly recommend is telling another person what it is, that small step you're going to take and when you're going to do it by and ask them to check in with you. So if you have a coach, obviously, um, like myself, you're going to have them to use for encouragement and accountability. And if you don't have one, in the meantime, you can use a accountability buddy, a friend, a spouse, somebody who's going to hold you accountable and say, hey, did you do that thing you said you were going to do? Did you move through that fear, that doubt? So one other little thing that I do that um, once I've done those things is within the IRS practice that I, I have and use for myself that helps me through this, really it's just working with those thoughts and beliefs, right? With those fears and those doubts. So I'll close my eyes or eyes open and I'll, you know, say to myself the negative one or the fear or doubt belief first and I'll let myself just feel it in my body. Because what that does is it helps to actually release the fear, release the doubt. Then when I'm done with that, I'll move to affirming and holding the opposite positive belief. I am capable of doing blank. 
whatever the positive opposite is. And affirm that to yourself several times. Eyes closed, preferably open, if that feels better to you. And again, feel that and picture what that would look like if you did do it, if you were capable, if you did take that little action step that you set up to do. And so anytime that fear and that doubt come back up again, just acknowledge it. Close your eyes, say the negative or self-limiting fear or doubt, thought or belief. Feel it and then hold the opposite is true and feel that. And then to end it, you might even picture yourself holding both, one in each hand, and bring the hands together and just say, you know what, you're both there and I'm still gonna move through and do it anyways. So thank you for joining me today. I'm Tanya Penny, and if you'd like more tips and coaching tools, please visit me at tanyapenny.com. And if you like this video, uh, please like it and share it with others. Thank you.